hello everyone welcome to edutarian and a warm good afternoon to you all so here we are to know more about the vigyan vidushi program that has been launched a uh, long back by tata institute of fundamental research now this particular program again as a part of the series that we have started uh, related to education uh, programs or education related schemes this is one such program that that is looking forward to increase the number of women to take up higher education in stem sciences for which this program has been launched now these are the credentials of myself and you can go through it later as well now when we talk about vigyan vidushi program this was for the first time launched in 2020 with physics okay and majorly with a vision to address the gender balance in the disciplines of physics mathematics and computer sciences so though they have launched this program exclusively for physics later on they have extended that to maths and computers as well now this has been conceptualized by the physicist in tifr mumbai and homi baba center for science and education which actually this particular HBCSE it is a national center of TIFR focusing on research in science education that is related to science and also it acts as a nodal center for science and mathematics olympiad activities in India now when we talk about this why why this program has been launched now when we look at it there is a gender gap in stem which is a that is related to science technology engineering and maths it is a major matter of global concern because lesser and lesser women as we go higher up the ladder in higher education the number of women enrollments are going down for which this has been taken up to improve that gender gap and a survey of select physics departments of elite research institutes in india various institutes they have come forward and as part of them what they have understood was that reveals that number of girl students at the doctorate level is just 23% this also i am saying uh, basically approximately okay and the data from unesco as well says that less than 30% of the world's researchers are women and only 30% of female students select stem related fields in higher education that is when it comes to ms that is uh, post graduation uh, doctor of philosophy that is phd etc okay globally it seems that female students enrollment is particularly very low in information and communication technology that is close to 3% only natural science mathematics and statistics just 5% and engineering manufacturing and construction that is close to 8% that is the number of women enrollment or female students enrollment in higher education especially when it comes to stem subject it's very very less now when we talk about this vigyan vidushi 2024 okay with they have started this program actually it's a 2 uh, to 3 week program during which they'll be provided with lots of latest uh, technologies or latest advanced studies about physics maths computers so that they'll increase that enthusiasm or interest among the women candidates to take up stem subjects in the higher education this is the main aim for which this particular program has been launched and various eminent personalities from the tifr institute itself they take up the uh, classes for them a more objectives to provide these students an exposure to advanced physics topics when we are talking about physics we look into physics only physics topics and research opportunities as well and encourage them to take up research in physics as a career option now when it comes to vigyan vidushi uh, physics it is a three week program exclusively for women students and the program for 2024 will be held fully in person over 3 weeks at tifr mumbai or Bab, uh, homi baba research center mumbai now it is an advanced physics summer school you can say like we have summer school jaise bachcho ko hota hai na jaake wo kuch na kuch seekhte rehte hain similarly but for adults school dates 27th may to 15th june 2024 this is what they 
plan is currently courses that's why they have highlighted it in red they might change as well later courses in contemporary theoretical and experimental physics innovative experiments lectures by eminent women scientists so that it can again create an enthusiasm among the candidates to take up physics as you know in during their higher education interactive mentoring sessions intro to physics education research how will they can plan their career in physics eligibility is women students who are already enrolled in first year of msc or fourth year of bsc physics or fourth year of integrated bsc msc physics jo generally 5 years ka hota hai ye integrated msc bsc plus msc they can do together otherwise they have to do it in 6 years here they'll be doing it in 5 years itself okay Now students enrolled in integrated MSc PhD programs are not eligible, or or also the students who are uh, who have already enrolled for PhD programs are also not eligible. Application dates already open sixth March two thousand twenty four, and it would be till twenty sixth March two thousand twenty four. Now coming to Vigya and Vidushi two thousand twenty four maths. As I've said, slowly they have launched first physics. के साथ start हुआ था two thousand twenty में. Slowly they have started. Uh, uh, you know, expanded this to maths and computer sciences as well. Again, conceptualized by the mathematicians in TIFR Mumbai. Actually, TIFR Mumbai makes school of mathematics. Hai. So this program is run by that, which is again under TIFR only. It is a two-week program. Unlike physics, Vigyan Vidushi physics, this is a two-week program, and the main aim is to expose the participants to some advanced core topics in mathematics and encourage them to consider research in mathematics as a career option and this is exclusively for women and women students enrolled in first year of masters degree same wahan jo physics ka hai na but you have to remove that physics and put maths wahi hai utna or the fourth year of the integrated bsc msc degree program in mathematics or equivalent or women students in the final year of bachelor's degree program may also apply dates of the course july 1st to 12th and application deadline march 31st tak hai is saal ke liye okay now coming to vigyan vidushi 2024 computer science now this is implemented by the school of technology and computer science again this is under tif so the whole the main anchor behind this entire program vigyan vidushi is tif only okay under which there are various institutes they look after uh, about running the program and the main aim of this particular program is to provide participants exposure to contemporary topics in theoretical computers and system sciences when we talk about computers obviously the course would be would be all about computers only to promote research in computer science as a career among women to promote interactions and introduce participants to life as a researcher and what would be the eligibility those who have already completed or currently in the third year of undergraduate education in cs computer science electrical engineering electronic and computer engineering uh, maths stats related fields all are eligible but as i have earlier said also those who have enrolled in a phd program will not be eligible under this be it vigyan vidushi computers or maths or physics it's a two week program again dates of the course Fifteenth of July to twenty sixth July, and application deadline is thirty April two thousand twenty four. Now, these are the three programs that are run, and currently the applications are also open. And so, as part of this, I want to highlight one more thing again: those who are eligible, if any one of you are eligible or looking forward to, uh, you know, to understand more about that respective subjects, there is still time. You can apply for this. okay and before winding up one thing this is a recorded video so if you have any queries related to this particular session or any other session as it the case may be you can always reach out to me through telegram or my app itself or you can comment here itself so that i can look into those questions thank you very much and before winding up we should look into the homework question answers that i have asked you yesterday so here As per the questions that I have asked you, is as per National Education Policy 2020, the highest priority of the education system will be to achieve universal foundational literacy and numeracy in primary schools by class three by which year? This we have seen Nippon 2025, and as per the same NEP 2020, a new National Assessment Center Parakh will be set up to serve as a standard setting body. What does R stand for in Parakh? It is a review. 
Parak stands for Performance Assessment Review and Analysis of Knowledge for Holistic Development. And the homework question for today is, which organization or institute has conceptualized the program Vigyan Vidushi, which is an initiative to address the gender balance in the disciplines of physics, maths and computer sciences, especially in higher education. When it comes to PG, PhD, research fellowship, etc. Or taking itself as a career. So this is all from my end. Hope Hope you all, you know, everything is clear and if you still have any queries, you can always reach out to me and see you all then in the next class on Tuesday because Monday it's Holi. I wish you all a very happy and colorful Holi. Please play very safely. Please take good care of yourself. Thank you very much once again. Have a great day ahead. Have a great weekend ahead. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.